Hello everybody. There's been an interesting discovery in the last month. On 16 November it was announced and I've got an article here from The Guardian. Uh, Egypt unearths 7,000 year old lost city. 15 huge graves dating from the first dynasty in Sohag province. Now guys this blows the lid on conventional what we think we know about conventional archaeology. It's actually, this discovery was quite close to Abydos. Abydos is the earliest Egyptian city. This was excavated by such luminaries as Petrie and this is, what I'm about to tell you is stunning and, and not many people have picked up on this just yet. This is one of the graves and if we look at the Guardian article it actually says Egypt has unearthed a city more than 7,000 years old and a cemetery dating back to the, its first dynasty. Now, uh, it, it's older than that. It's older. This is the thing. Uh, experts say that, that's a journalist mix-up. It's older. The whole I think the cemetery is also from uh, 7,000 years ago. Experts say Abydos was Egypt's capital towards the end of the pre-dynastic period and during the rule of the first four dynasties. The discovery was made 400 meters away from the Temple of Seti the first, a New Kingdom period memorial across the Nile from present-day Luxor. Now, this is the thing. Archaeologists have so far uncovered huts, pottery remains, iron tools, and 15 huge graves. Iron tools. Now look, the size of the graves discovered in the cemetery is larger in some instances than royal graves in Abydos dating back to the first dynasty, which proves the importance of the people buried there and their high social standing during this early era of ancient Egyptian history, the ministry said. Well, it proves a lot more than that. It actually proves a decline. And I'm going to talk about this. This is one of the graves. If this dates to 7,000 years ago, Abydos is about 5,000 years ago. 5,100 years ago, pre-dynastic. To my knowledge, so far no writing has been uncovered. But this, this shows that something is going on. Between 5,000 BC and 3,100 BC, the pre-dynastic period, Egypt has been in a decline. The graves have shrunk. We don't even know if these are royal graves or not, or what they are. We have no clue what they are. But if the graves have shrunk in size, that immediately points to a decline. This is another one of the tombs. This, this one is really stunning. I'll talk about this in a moment. Now, the article talked about iron tools. There were no iron tools in Abydos of 3100 BC. Why should there be iron tools in these earlier graves if these graves do date to 5000 BC? That's more proof that Egypt was in a long decline. A long decline. And, you know, this is the funny thing. For a couple centuries now, archaeologists have assumed and that 3100 BC was the maximum. Or they used to go, they used to date it differently. They used to go back to 3600 BC for Khufu and then in the 20th century they've revised it downwards more towards the present. But this is just stunning and this proves, this vindicates the work of people like Norman Lockyer. Norman Lockyer wrote an amazing book called The Dawn of Astronomy. A bit of a pun because it, it talks about the real dawn, the, the, the dawn worship of astronomy. And he actually talked about 10,000 year old temples which face north-south and he shows that the temples face stars where they were 10,000 years ago. And this is some vindication of that, an advanced civilization 10,000 years ago or even earlier. Now I'm going to talk about this tomb. This is what was found and this is what was found. This could be mud brick. Here there seem to be some mud bricks but I'm not sure. And this tomb is incredible. Now I want to show you firstly what mud bricks look like. Those are mud bricks. Those are mud bricks. Those are new mud bricks. They're not very good. Though that's a mud brick hut. You see? That's actually in China. That's mud bricks, but new mud bricks in Iraq. Making mud bricks. The Jews, when they were enslaved, uh, they had to make this. It says so in the Bible. Now look at this. This is what was uncovered. Now this is unbelievable. That could be mud bricks, but look here. It seems to be continuous. I'm not sure. And look at that. That seems to be... If, if, if you show this to me, I would say poured concrete. And look here. Look at this structure here. It goes all the way around. 
and it goes up here and it continues here. It's inside this layer. That's a mudslide. It some mud has slid over it. What was that? Was it the flood? Who knows what this was? And this is a recessed tomb. It's got lots of chambers, probably for storing the grave goods. This is unbelievable. Not sure what it was made out of just yet. It could be bricks, or that could be just the pattern of the rock, or the pattern of the mould. Not sure. Not sure at this stage. Would mud bricks really survive for 7,000 years? I don't know. Now, as for the iron tools, guys, if they had iron tools, guess what? That means Egypt is many more thousands of years old than 5000 BC. And actually, people like Robert Schock, they were talking about the Sphinx being around 5000 BC, and here we go. Evidence for a civilization in 5000 BC. They said it wasn't right. It is right. And I, I'm going to argue it goes back a lot further than 5000 BC. Guys, thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye. Take care.